Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 668 of Fallout 4. Last episode, finally, finally, finally got to University Point. We did clear out the credit union that was real close to the place, and we got a legendary that I don't have in my inventory. I gave it to Codsworth. We got a legendary r laser rifle that has unlimited ammo capacity, and so as long as I have the ammunition to feed it, we're all good. Uh, I read Jocks or Jax or whatever, however you wish to pronounce that. His note says he found the data. And we're about to look at his terminal here. Well, I guess this is no, this is Campbell's terminal. Okay. User Professor Stuart Campbell signed in. University Mail Relay. What you got in here? That is a lot of mail. Dear God. <laughs> Alrighty. C. Marsh. Lab time. 2077-1022-1734. I'm guessing that's the 24-hour clock and that's the date. Anywho, sender C. Marsh. Lab time. Took me forever to figure out what you meant about Leslie's birthday. It was a good idea, but we haven't been dating that long. I had to look it up in the student records in the front office. Don't tell her that. Anyway, while I was there, I overheard that Dean Patterson has an alumni dinner this weekend, so he should... He should... He should... So he should out of your hair? Hold on. Remember, these are, these are college students. This is, this is higher education. I overheard, I overheard, overheard, I overheard that Dean Patterson has an alumni dinner this weekend, so he should out of your hair. See you Saturday, Curtis Matthews. Curtis, damn it. A. Patterson, Leslie Matthews. 2077, 1021, 1044 from A. Patterson, Leslie Matthews. I've got you now, you snake. You snake. You think I wouldn't notice how often you visit the student credit unit? I'm sure it's merely a coincidence that your gr graduate student, Miss Matthews, is always on your shift when you have to go get something from your safe. You didn't think it wouldn't reach me that you and her disappear for hours in that safe? If you don't want to tell me the con what the construction was and what your research is all about, I'll be going straight to the press and police. A. Patterson Dean. I mean, I thought he was going to take it to, like, the lewd, lewd activities disappearing for hours. I mean, maybe... Maybe someone's getting the world rocked, but no, he, he, he knew that it was it was science. It's for science. Sea Marsh, more time for the project. 2077 10 20 18 03. From Sea Marsh, more time for the project. Professor Campbell, I understand the need for secrecy, sir, but I don't. But don't you think that we could get more work done if you gave Leslie and I access to the research without uh, without you having to be here? That accident was weeks ago, and you said it yourself it was due to a bad fuse. Leslie said she saw Dean skulking around following you yesterday, and it's going to get harder to get work done if he's tailing you all the time. Colonel Rosemont sounded pretty serious about wanting the research as soon as possible. Curtis Marsh, Pat A. Patterson regarding Colonel Rosemont. 10, or 10, 2077, 10, 8, 15, 23. From Patterson regarding Colonel Rosemont. God damn it, Stuart. God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> damn it, Bobby. Um, <laughs> God damn it, Stuart. You aren't worming your way out of this. The cur this, this Colonel Rosemont you insisted I needed clearance from is nearly and insufferable, is nearly as insufferable as you are. When I went to see him, he claimed your research was classified and had me escorted from the base. You think you're so clever, but I know this is just one of your old army buddies helping you pull a trick. Don't think I won't be talking to our lawyers. A. Patterson Dean. A. Patterson Unauthorized Construction. 2077 9 15 23 From A. Patterson, I have a right to know. Mr. Campbell, first of all, you do not have my permission to call me by my first name. I am the Dean here, and you would do well to remember that. But I mean, it's your name, so... So, uh, 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 you're telling me not to call you your name? I'm gonna call him Twinklefuck for the rest of the series. His name, his name is now Twinklefuck. All right. Secondly, what this is about is I've been hearing you and your officers from the army performing unauthorized construction under administrative building while I was on vacation. This is absolutely unacceptable. You will explain to me at once what the meaning of this is and what you're researching. From Twinklefuck. All right, Twinklefuck. I have a right to know. Did I uh? Did I click on the wrong one. Oh, that's construction. I have a right. To know. They both are titled. I have a right to know. I guess it's just the reply. I have a right to know. Twenty seventy seven nine fifteen fifteen twenty three from uh, from Twinklefuck. I have a right to know. Uh, yes, Mr. Campbell. It has been, it has come to my attention that you were contacted by the army regarding your research. I am the one running this university, and I have the right to know and approve all research programs. I know that your colleagues hold hold you in high regard and that we brought you on last year your contract guaranteed your tenure but you don't want to make an issue of this with me i am leaving this afternoon th afternoon on my vacation but when i get back in two weeks i expect to be fully app uh, apprised of the research twinklefuck from mr twinklefuck and that is all that's in this category all right research notes latest notes on energy research 
edited 22, 07, 10, 12, 17, 42. Really, Alan, you're going through my terminal now? I told you that my research was classified. Quit being a pathetic worm and just mind your own business. This is why you lock your computer, people. Lecture plans. Lecture notes. October 18th to the 22nd. Undergraduate class. Grade vacuum tube circuit layouts in class review for the midterm graduate class. Continue lecture from last week about sub-wavelength phenomena and pl plasmonic excitations. Ooh, excited. Undulating. D discuss how the concepts may be used in the future for more optimized circuitry. Note, remind, uh, remind circuits, or circuits, remind, remind circuits, remind Curtis that he should find out when Leslie's birthday is and that she wanted to meet him at the credit unit at 7 p.m. October 11th to 15th. Twinkle fuck. Okay, so that's that's all corrupted, and that's all she wrote in that terminal. Anyway, this area is uh, full of Mirelurks and Reporting Institute synths, who are not aggro to me. The Mirelurks will be, but the synths will not be, so I'm, I'm just kind of walking around with my baseball bat, figuring I'd be clubbing some, some Mirelurks here for gets and shiggles. I don't know why I've taken a liking to this weapon, even though it's objectively really bad, because I'm not kitted for it. Oh. I'm glad I came back the uh, the wrong way, because <laughs> then I get to hit the chain on the door. Time saver! Probably would have been able to fly right up that, that elevator shaft, but okay. Did I check over here? No, Greetings, I didn't. Sir. Mm, greetings to you too, man. Unknown identity. What do you mean, unknown identity? You will refer to me as Sir. I am Sir Robot Overlord. I have a teddy bear in the university. I mean, I don't know. I guess they aren't really adults yet either. It's kind of funny to think about. Like... Like, you think about it, oh boy, you turned 18 when you're in high school. This is, this is coming from a 25-year-old jaded person, and only getting older, I suppose, but I don't know. I, I, you look back and you see the, the kids in high school, like, I'm 18, I'm in high school. They, they, they still look and sound like literal babies. <laughs> I mean, I'm only 25, I can only imagine what they look and sound like to older people, but, but high school, 18, you are a literal baby still. You are ignorant to like ninety nine percent of the world and how it works. You're you're just a, you're just a wee baby. Like you're so new to the whole life thing. I don't know. That's what I feel like. Yes. And then you go to college, and I mean you're still eighteen, nineteen, you know, twenty. Like you're still you're still just a wee baby. So I guess my rant kind of uh, s surmises that a teddy bear is not beyond possible at a, at a university. I mean they're still literal literal kids, if you ask me. I mean. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I look at high schoolers these days, and I'm like, damn. Like, you're just a baby. <laughs> but they act like they know it all. I guess that's just the whole teenager thing, huh? Hey, man. You'll get old, too. To the person watching. I mean, if you're older than me, you perfectly well understand. But if you're younger than me, and you, maybe you don't understand. You'll understand one day. Like, they're, they're all just wee babies. They're just wee little babies. <laughs> Oh, that's always fun to talk about. It's so weird. Now, this says exit, but it doesn't tell me. It's a, yeah, it doesn't tell me that it's an... Oh. Okay, I thought maybe it'd be an instance, but no, it didn't tell me it's an instance. Okay, so that's still on the outside world. We still haven't found the main door. Um, what? Am I on the second? Carrying too much, I can't run. Damn. Oh, yeah, I've come down one floor length, which is good. So I'm going to go through those double doors, but... Godsworth? Are you through the double doors, or are you up top? Where are you? Reporting status. All functions normal. I have no idea where Codsworth is. He's on a floor below even the floor that I'm on. Damn it, Codsworth. I just wanted to give you all the stuff in my inventory. Just stop doing what you're doing and teleporting to strange places in the world. Okay, please don't aggro the synths. Okay, no ground pound. That's good. Alright, well, let's go this way. Oh, hey, I can get to him here. So this floor just goes right into the next floor. It kinda, it kinda gave out, and this would be the Mirelurk area. Hey, buddy. Hey. I'm all ears. You're not all ears. You're all pink paint job and machine guns. Like, oh well, no, I guess, I guess laser rifles. You're, you're all death machine. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Ten millimeter pistol. I'm guessing most of what I have is in the junk category. Yep. Well, I'm picking up a lot of fans and silly things like that. So here you go, buddy boy. Can't imagine he has that much more inventory space. I have filled his inventory up a, a few times at this point, so I'm, I'm expecting sooner or later for him to tell me no more. I, I can't take it. <laughs> I, I can't take it. It's enough, enough, enough. It's time to stop. Sorry, buddy. 
Uh, there's still all the stuff on the other side that I will drop down to later, but I might as well just check this area while I'm here. Is that a safe? That's a safe over there. Advance. Yeah, well, my safe now. <laughs> An advanced door is not going to hide you from me, Mr. Safe. Sweet. Any Mylarks in here to beat down? I can't, I can't trust the detection thing either. That's why I haven't really been crouching. The, the, the place is full of synths. Unless, of course, it's red. But it's full of synths who are also detecting me. But they're not hostile. Well, let me just, let me just, I have to. I have a baseball bat. I have to, I have to hit some people. It's an expert one. Ooh. Give me my XP. It's a little more to the right. Ah! Game! Get back here! Give me that safe! Hey, you're so finicky! Got him! Okay, we're good. That's it. Antibiotics! Bug champ. I always like getting free antibiotics. Oh, snap. This one's a master. Uh, that means it's an important door. Generally, it means it's an important door. Oh, there it was. Got him! What's behind nice. this door? Why were you a master? Actual documents, always welcome. I cannot get in there. I'm betting you drop down. Maybe. I can't get in that room. Is that a... You know, they zoom in with a baseball bat, obviously. I think there's a slight little hole in the wall you can get in from that spot. Security gate. That just takes me down to the same lair. Alright, well, I'm gonna go this way first, because this looks like it's back towards where I just was. And I was definitely not finished exploring it. I just kind of got distracted with that uh, that door. Therefore, then the, then the safe and yes. yeah, a little bit of distraction. All right, yeah. Oh no, 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 no! This is the other side. Hold on. Let me check something. Did I? I didn't. Yeah, I, I might as well check this room first. I'm probably not coming back here. Pretty doubtful. I did save an egg. I I kind of shot this guy with my my radium rifle and explosions. You want to go? You want to go, Mr. Legendary? I will fuck you up. I will fuck you up. Come at me, bro. Aw, didn't, didn't like block him. <laughs> All the synths are coming out of the woodworks. Okay, I can't shoot him with the, the rifle. If I... They're all just jumping down. Oh my god, you're level 127. 127, damn, they're high level synths. I have to be careful what I shoot him with. I can't kill the synths. You don't hit one of the synths. In the crossfire, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Oh my God! Look at them all. Okay, while he's a little weakened, head. You don't need that anymore. Don't hit a synth. We're good. Incendiary metal right leg. Damn, but I always get that Garbo incendiary armor. It's so stupid. Hey, eggs. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to accidentally. Lord Hagen's under attack. How did that not hit? Nordhagen is very well defended. I'll let them finish him. But again, that hasn't stopped the game from dicking me in the past. See, look, how is that not a hit? Oh god, I have the floaty. Sometimes I feel like it just misses the miss. <laughs> look, when I'm when I'm in first person, I got that glitch again. Where did they move the corpses? There should be one more. Sorry, glowing my alert. Uh... Well, I guess I'm missing some of the Mylurk meat, so be it. Maybe if I... I don't know, if I jetpack? I think it happens whenever the fall animation's canceled. Ouch. No, it didn't remedy it. I don't know, I've had this happen very recently. But anyway, Nordhagen, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, Nordhagen, like every other settlement, is well built, but the game has recently dicked me over with that, so I will probably help them out. They're pretty close by, too. Yeah, this is the room I was wondering if I could get into. Student records. So this is where the guy went to check up on that one chick's birthday. We, we, Codsworth, we've been pack rats for like, I don't know, 668 episodes. I mean, we hit 666 just a few ago. And if the viewer watching this didn't like the video, then shame on them. Well, we're supposed to be beating Megastan. Anyway, let's look at the student records. <laughs> Directory of student records, Curtis Marsh signed in. Student directory for 2077 to 2078. Uh, enrolled undergraduates. Enrolled undergraduates, oh my god, scholastic year 2077, 2077, Uh, that's just gonna be a lot of gibberish? Okay. Or a lot of names. A lot of gibberish so far. Just a lot of twinkle fuck in here. Cause, you know, the dean. Uh, no. 
no, no, no. Like, it's it's kind of like the internet. When someone tells you not to do something, you do the exact opposite. So when like the dean tells you to not call him by his first name, you're likely to either say his first name or say something a lot worse. <laughs> Enrolled graduates, 2077, 2078. And there's less entries, but... Oh, here we go. Campbell's safe password added. But didn't I... Well, wasn't that the one up top? Didn't I already? I, I think I already got that one. Gibson Justin, 623-2040. I'm not going to read every single birthday. I, I think you guys can read that. I don't, I don't think that's worth pointing out. But you see Leslie in here. She's the one with a, a beastly GPA and Curtis, both with really high GPAs. Fucking Keller Otis over here with a 1.9. <laughs> All right, well, we know who the dropout is. Date of birth. Is he younger than the rest of them? No, not really. I mean, yeah, I mean, a little, but okay. Curtis and Leslie. Oh, damn. Leslie's six years younger. Ooh, 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 baby. All right. Um, <laughs> that'd be all of that. Let's see. Student Directory Archives. Requesting files from University Database. System Error. Database not found. Yeah, I, po I pointed out the ones that I thought, thought mattered in there, but I don't think we need to read literally everybody's name and their date of birth. That would take quite a bit. I read everything in the terminals. Like, you guys know this by now, but I, I, I didn't think that was <laughs> strictly necessary. Well, I guess we're checking the bathroom. And there's a trap in here. I'm full well expecting a Mirelurk for some reason, but... Tension trigger. Where's the bomb that was linked up to that? Or was that it? All right. oh, nothing in this toilet. God, see, that, that? this is what I'm talking about. This weird shadowy texture glitch is the thing that happened to me when I was at the, uh, the Pridwin very recently and the only thing that fixed it was a oh i missed this call the only thing that fixed that was uh saving quitting that was the only thing i could do to fix it codsworth that was kind of freaky but okay i still need to go in this area this is the other side of the building that was gated off that i couldn't check sir do be careful sir water contains a much higher level of radiation i mean i have solar powered codsworth and this is where the elevator would have taken me oh see that elevator requires terminal Maybe that terminal in the safe or whatever or in that room up there. Key doke. Okay, you guys want to wake up? I am more inclined to just shoot the wall and kill you dudes. Because, yeah, the baseball bat doesn't seem to connect very well with you guys, even when I stare directly at you. <laughs> Not gonna mess around with that too much. That's an easy kill. What else is back here? Okay. Oh, there's a Mylark hiding right here. Hey, buddy. You ready to go down to Funky Town? I got you. I can I can deliver. Do I need a crit. I do need some crits. So uh, hold still. He's only level 34, poor guy. Oh shit! Lucky Charms proc. Come here, buddy. Rah! Hold still. Make sure I hit him in his his soft spot. Kind of twisted. It's like a baby's head. <laughs> yeah. I want this thing to proc. Proc already. Come on, send him flying. Game. I'm fucking him up, game! Yeah. I got him right in the side of the head on that one. This game, man. I just want this baseball bat thing to proc like all the time, because it's fun. I might as well just deal with this now. Okay, anybody who's not an egg, come over here. Still, the overdramatic explosion when you hit the water, it, it makes me happy. I don't know why. Um, that's, that's not all of them. There should be another one. Shoot the water! No life signs detected. You, the, the base, like the rumble from that. When I shoot the ground? Nothing. If you shoot the water with explosive on a weapon, it makes the most ridiculously overdramatic explosion noise ever, and it's it's great. Got ourselves a rifle, some ammo. Oh my god, that was 12 missiles, I think. The dreaded novice safe. Oh boy. My issue is the novice... The... the, the, the like, the, the the part that tells you that you're on the right track is so big, but the sweet spot's so, still kind of teeny. So, like, you, you're on the right track, you're on the right track, but you're always on the right track because it's a novice one. Where is Codsworth? Sounds like he is above. And he's on the wrong side, isn't he? He's over there, okay. Um... Yeah, I got all the way over. Damn it, I'm just gonna stay overweight until he teleports to me next. That's that's, that's not gonna work. I don't think run all the way over time. So I looted that area. That's already cleared out. Did I pull all the uh, stuff out of your guys' hands? I think somebody had beer. 
Got some beer, you got some beer, you're not even... See, again, like, about the whole wee baby thing. If you're in college, unless you're on your, like, last, last year or you're in there for six plus, you know, you're not even old enough to legally drink. Now, granted, that doesn't stop any college kid, and that's half the time why most of them go there. I'm drinking, but... <laughs> Again, with a wee baby thing, you're not even old enough. You, alcohol still is mystery to you, and you still think it's cool. Like booze is fun and all, but I'm never. I, I don't know. I guess I, I don't know. I never grew up like that. I, I never, I never cared about alcohol. I waited till I was 21. Technically, when I was like 10, no, no, I'd say 13, 14. My dad left the Heineken on the table, and I, t I tasted it. I'm like, it tastes like shit. I'm not touching this ever again. And just, 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 just to do that, like I was a literal sip, and he knew, like he saw me do it. He's like, "Go ahead, try it. You probably won't like it." You know, it was, it was like controlled parental. I, guess, I don't know. It was probably like a, a way of discouraging me from ever wanting to drink. But I was like, "Eh, I don't, I don't see why someone would go out of their way to drink this." But maybe that's just me. And then I waited until I was 21. Then you know, I drank whiskey and vodka, and I made tasty drink. I guess I'm a tasteful drinker. I don't know. The only time I ever drink is when I make it like tasty. Nice. I, I'll, I'll mix like whiskey and soda. That's that's one of my favorite things, like whiskey and coke. There's still a lot of shit here. Like there's so much shit you can do with vodka, flavor wise. But I don't know. I, I'm always when I drink, it's always flavorful. It's never just a oh I'm gonna go get smashed. I'm a cool college kid. Like those kids are fucking idiots. I don't know. I never I, I never I, I never understood that. I never had that that desire. Still overweight. Still not seeing Codsworth in a good spot. So I do have to go back the way that door was. I was hoping maybe he TP'd, but I don't know. It's just kind of like a random rant, I guess. But not even a rant. I don't know. I, I never grew up, like, wanting to drink. Wanting to get plastered. It was not my cup of tea. Jack's terminal. Interesting terminal you got here there, Jack or Jock, however we're, we're pronouncing your name. Nice, uh, nice ASCII art. Property of Jack Spencer. All others keep out. My duono. He has a holotape. Uh, I will eject that and then play it as we walk around. But let's read his journal. Mom's birthday. Mm, Mom's spaghetti? Mom's birthday was yesterday. Dad and I left flowers on her grave. He was telling her stories about her and I. It kind of reminded... Uh, I kind of mentioned that I don't really remember what she looked like anymore. He said it was okay, but I can hear him sobbing in his room. Ugh, I can't take this right now. I'm going to go scavenging the flooded area. Still haven't replaced my secondary hard disk after it blew out last week, so maybe I can find a new one. You're going to go look in the flooded area for another hard disk? I guess this is post-bombs, maybe? No? I... But then why would his dad be here? I don't, I don't know. I don't know when this is. Huh. Last week, maybe I could find a new one. Sylvia also said that her network port has been active. I mean, this is definitely during the... Like, before that. Before the bombs. Good find. It's like Dad has stopped crying. Hope he didn't realize I snuck back there myself. I've gotten so good that the lurks don't even know I'm here. Okay, this is after the bombs. They, I guess they were living here for a while. After, like, all the radiation and shit. I, and maybe, no, maybe, maybe Jack came here afterwards. I don't know, like, Jack, I don't remember if Jack was in the student roster, I'll have to check that again. I didn't manage to find a replacement port for Sylvia, but I did manage to pull a hard disk out of the large console in one of the lecture halls. Some of the data on it even seems to be intact. I'm gonna poke around before I reform it, who knows, maybe something, maybe something interesting on it. Score! Oh man, this is big, I managed to get part of the data off the hard disk, and it seems to be about research about a reactor efficiency. Part of it was corrupt, but I might be able to find the rest of it somewhere. There's a caravan passing through, so I figured I'd see what I might get if I could find the rest of it. He said to the right... He said to the right person, I don't know why that like, spacing is there. He said to the right person, that kind of thing might be worth several hundred caps. We agreed to 2075 cut if he can find a buyer. That's a horrible cut. Now, unless, I mean, even if he's getting 75%. Ugh. Now I just need to figure out how to get the rest of the data. All right. Today is terrible. <laughs> I went from score to terrible. Ugh. This guy has motion swings. <laughs> I haven't been able to make any progress with finding the data and the lurks have started laying eggs again. And to make matters worse, Dad just got back from some council meeting and somehow I found out and somehow found out I've been searching the flooded area. He locked everything up and said I'm not allowed to do any scavenging. I tried to explain about the data and he listened, but then started acting weird and told me to go to my room and and not come down until he sorts things out. What's going on? What have I done? Oh god, what did I do? I've been getting mail from everyone in town saying that the institute is coming and and asking if, and if it's my fault. Someone even accused me of being a synth. Oh boy. Somehow they must have found out about the reactor research, but it's not even complete. Dad said that it was probably just some scammer or a writer trying to trick us, but I don't know. What if it really is the Institute? I need to get back there and find the data somehow. And it sounds like he got in trouble. University mail relay. Oh boy. More, more mail. G. Spencer. No more scavenging. It's probably from his dad. Uh, 2020. I hate reading these terminals. A fisheye view. Ugh. 2285-812-1742, Senator G. Spencer, no more scavenging. Jacqueline. Ah, alright, so Jack, it's Jack. 
It's short for Jacqueline, just spelled weird. People, why can't we have normal names? Why can't it be Jack, J-A-C-K, if you want to be Jack, and J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N, if you want to be Jacqueline? Stop it! It's so confusing! People always name their kids super weird things and spell it funky and make it hard for me to read. Anyway, Jacqueline, I'm serious. No more scavenging until this thing with the council blows over. I know people are scared, but I think this guy the mayor talked to is just a con man. The Institute hasn't shown up in a long time. Why would they now? Which, again, is funny because the Institute is here. I've been calming things down around town, and I think I've got enough support that I can block anything crazy in the vote tonight. I'm not mad at you, but I want you to stay at home and don't stir anything up for now. Love, Dad. Uh, P. Owens, you stupid girl. I guess this confirms that it's a woman. 2285-812-1742. From P. Owens. You stupid girl. Do you have any idea what you have done? You dumb brats think... I don't know why I'm speaking like this. You dumb brats think that just because they haven't attacked anyone in years, it's something we all made up. But now the Institute is going to come and kill us all. Did you even think about yourself... Think about that, you selfish little bitch? Your father says you don't have this data they're on about... Are they after? But if that's the case, then for all we know, you're actually working for the Institute. Oh my god, let's all get paranoid and think everybody is a synth. That is the logical thing to do. People are stupid. Deleted mail. Server unavailable. Unable to find network backups. Cannot be restored at this time. B. Strickland, don't leave your home. Can't, can't, can't read those. Uh, S. Cooper, it's not your fault. M. Lost, that one actually happened. You synth bitch from R. West and M. Cole. Not going to die for you. I guess it's just like hate mail from all these people, I suppose. Okay. Uh, remote door control. This is, um, it does say it requires the terminal. This is the, uh, this is the elevator shaft, right? Open that up, and we will eject the tape. And that's Jack's, Jacqueline's hollow tape. I'm gonna call you Jacqueline because I don't think spelling your name Jack is, I don't know, very nice. It, it's confusing to a reader. Jack's hollow tape. Jacqueline's hollow tape. Okay. First, I just, I want to say I'm sorry, Dad. I knew I was onto something big, and thought I'd see what a traitor would pay if I found it. I had no idea that the Institute would be after any of this, and now the whole town is in trouble. I know you told me not to worry, but I just know that the town is going to vote to throw us out, or worse. Did I cut that out? Because she said, I just know that the town's going to vote to cut, uh, to throw us out. Okay. Did that cut out? Because I, I talked to Codsworth? I want to say I'm sorry, Dad. I knew I was onto something big, and thought I'd see what a traitor would pay if I found it. I had no idea that the Institute would be after any of this, and now the whole town is in trouble. I know you told me not to worry, but I just know that the town is going to vote to throw us out, or worse. I wasn't lying when I said I didn't have the data, despite what Mr. Owens and his cronies think. That's why I have to go back in. I know the key is in there. I just need to put the pieces together. It's something with that professor. Alright, so that definitely gave us more information. It, it definitely cut out. So something with the professor. Hey, you. You're finally here. Uh, there are no containers for me to utilize. However, weapons. So it was 12, right? Or ammo. It was 12, right? Yeah, so it'll drop in a single stack. Drop. God's work. Hey. Grab that. No longer over encumbered. Thank God, Codsworth. Codsworth. Take it. Codsworth. Right. Get that. Good job, buddy. All right. It is actually time to wrap the episode up here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that. Looks like we'll be finishing up University Point next episode. I do want to go read the terminal. No, 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 no. I don't need to read the terminal anymore. We kind of confirmed that this is post, post, uh, post, post bomb. So she probably wasn't in school, or even if she was, it doesn't really matter. I guess these are people that came here later. But anyway, guys, again, wrap it up here. Episode 668. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.